Sub level four. Oh, this is the one. Oh no, this is the one. Well, things took a turn for the worse. There are about to be some very memorable moments in here. If you know what I mean, you know what, no. <laughs> it's throwing if you know what I mean after any sentence makes it awkward. All right, so there's one. One, two, oh, there's another one over there. Is that it? Really? No. There are more than that. I guess not. All right, so there are two Emperor Bullblaxes in here. Now, these ones are a lot smaller than the ones we've faced thus far. Or than the one we've faced thus far. And this one's actually, this one's special. Or this, this floor is special. Because they give us bomb rocks as well, which is a bit odd. But the way that we're supposed to defeat these guys... I should probably take some blues with me, honestly. Is by using bomb rocks, much like we did in Pikmin 1. Except in this in this case, we're not throw, using the yellows to sacrifice uh, bomb rocks into their mouths. Here, come here. Eat that. Okay, you got a bomb rock. And we'll get some free hits on him. Whistle him off. Man, he's stunned for a long time. Come on, buddy. Get this bomb rock. Honestly, this may be enough to kill him. No, but it's close. All right, uh, and finish him off. It's pretty easy. Now, the music is still playing. Because we're not done yet. There's another... There's another Emperor of Bullblax, which they want us to defeat. Now, this is good preparation for one of the challenge modes, which we'll be facing at some point. Because it has this floor. But with, like, six of these guys, or five or something. So this is good prep work. No, head towards me, not my not my base, please. I love how these guys control, like, like a tank. Like a... A take control a tank control. There we go, get it. Eat it. No, he, he missed it. Alright. Oh he did. kind of penned in here. Run, 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 run. There. No, eat it. Eat the bomb rock. Oh he got it, he got it. No! Run. Oh no, 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 no! Are we good? We're good, okay. Oh, it's this. This attack. We've never seen that attack before, actually. Uh, yeah, if he he'll yell, and all of the Pikmin will be scared. There. I threw rock- I basically threw rocks at its face. I- That was straight up David and Goliath. But now he's dead. Neat. Also, I need to be careful with my blue Pikmin, because- if there are more treasures like this where I need, I absolutely need to have blues to get it, then I need to be careful not to lose it, lose blues. There's nothing here. Honestly, I thought there would be something buried there. It just makes sense. Is that it, though? Is there nothing there? And then there's nothing. Oh, there's something there. Okay, it's, uh, oh, I love those as a child, and even now, those little creamer things. <laughs> I'll, I'll just drink them straight, and they're awesome. Mysterious remains. It's one of those things, though. That's neat. All right, so we've defeated two Emperor Bolaxes fairly easily, easily, showing just how far we've come. Even if they did give us convenient bomb rocks to take them out. All right, where's the cave? Oh, it's right next to where we came in. All right. Interesting. I don't want to. You know what? Let's do it. You guys mentioned in a previous episode how uh, I should probably be taking down the gates regardless of whether or not there's anything in them. Because while there may be a trap there, there could equally be an egg that drops a nectar, or uh, drops a, a spray. Which is fair. I just need to be careful that that's all that it is. Oh! Well, you guys were right! Oh, okay, they're Queen Candy Pop Bud. How many have we lost purples 
We need reds, though, I guess. There. Get some reds. Sadly, we cannot get purples, no matter how hard we try. You know what? I, I won't even flame the game. There have been no traps in this floor. It's all been good things. So I won't flame the game for... For giving me that. I don't like things falling from the sky no matter what it is. But I'm fine with that, at least. Kind of. Alright, let's get the creamer packet. I'll laugh at if this is worth anything more than 15 Pocos. I'm guessing 20? 60? 60! Oh, that's why it's a bathtub for them. <laughs> I love those things. They taste so good. They're probably not good for you, but... I mean, I have a great metabolism. I can eat basically whatever I want. I can probably eat dirt and be fine. Sub-level 5. What is the theme this time? More water? I'm fine with water. It's giving me the... the safe zone sound. And there are candy pop buds everywhere. I don't trust it. There's no way they would be nice to me. Okay, okay. Still being nice. Nothing in here. You, which I'll gladly take. Um, there's no treasure on this floor either. There's another one. And a spray. Neat. We got a spray. Or to eight ultra spicy. But that's, uh, and there has to be some downside to this. Maybe one of the candy pop buds just eats Olimar or makes more Olimars out of my Pikmin. Whammies? No whammies, all right. Neat. So what do I want to convert? Yellows? I don't want to convert just one of a color, so... We'll do this. We'll do... Actually, no, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't even matter, right? No, it still matters, doesn't it? Huh. Yeah, I don't need the candy pup bud, the queen candy pup bud at all. That's just a way for me to get numbers back. So I guess I'll just split it. So reds will be turned into whites. And then yellows will be turned into purples. And then we'll just go on to the next floor. It's odd that there aren't even any treasures here. It's just candy pop buds, a geyser, and a cave. Oh, and I guess a... A iridescent flint beetle. I'm missing a Pikmin. I mean, it doesn't matter, but I'm still curious. He's by the geyser. All right. A little bit of lag, but no, we're fine. All right, let's go on to the next sub... Oh, it's another guy! Okay, please give me a spray. There's one. Two. And a spray. I'm fine with this. That's also a weird glitch. If I start drinking something while... While using the C-Stick, the C-Stick command will stay. Seemed kind of odd. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to wait for him to finish drinking. And onward to the next cave. Neat. Got two sprays out of it. Got some more purples to replace the one, the two I lost. And we're moving on. Uh, I recognize this floor. Water ray? I don't think they'd spring the Water Wraith on me. At all. In other floors. They better not, because I'll be really upset if they spring the Water Wraith on me. Alright, so you guys come here. Yeah, what's the gimmick of this floor? I'm, I'm kind of scared. Because they do reuse f maps. But... Usually they have a purpose for doing so. They don't just do it for the sake of it. Alright, so let's take out the Wally Wog quickly. It's not something I relish doing, but something I have to do. Throw a five. Throw a five. Throw a five. Oh boy, that's close. Whistle him out of the way. This is looking good. Let's keep Olimar away so the repeat of the 
the shower room doesn't go down. And he's dead? Cool. Cool. Yeah, the, the Wallywogs aren't that scary if I actually know how to handle them. But I guess they're one of those things that's kind of a noob trap. A lot of the, the enemies... Actually, I guess just Pikmin in general. The entire series is a bit of a noob trap. Like, you can really tell the difference between someone who's grown up with the game and someone who who just picked it up. Like, their time management, how they handle enemies, what they do. Also, their concern for enemies, or for their own Pikmin, is different. I need to be careful of traps. I shouldn't be taking my entire squad in like this. Alright, so there's a thing over there. Whoa, hello. I just swarm him. Water dumples are not my friend. They're not even cool. I mean, they're one of those things that it, they're an annoyance, but they're one that is actually threatening. Because you can know they can just guzzle down Pikmin. Okay, kill him. I don't actually think they have... He has any friends nearby, but I'll take him out nonetheless. Alright. Let's take in purples and reds. Take out the water dumple very quickly. Oh, he can get in here! He can get in here. Okay, he's dead. Whoa, what was that? Okay. And I don't want to I don't want to swarm Pikmin on him. Because I know they can be cheap. There we go. And he actually had a treasure inside of him. And we'll take that back to base. Neat. Well, I'll take him back to back to base too. All right, come on, old, come on, President. Let's head this way, I guess. Uh, never mind. We're gonna head the the other way. Certainly, they're not going to spring a water water wraith on me. Please no. I mean, I doubt I will trigger the timer in this area, but still, it it's too reminiscent, and it's too soon for me to not get. PTSD from thinking about the water wraith. That, that, that enemy is so scary. Oh, no, you get it. You, you, you thought I wouldn't notice you drowning. You thought you could just drown in peace. No. No one can drown in peace under my watch, except me. Alright. But yeah, uh, the water wraith is interesting. Oh, actually, I have, I have things about him. Uh, I didn't mention it when we actually fought him, but the cavern that we find the water wraith in, these, uh, the, oh, what's it called? The underwater, the submerged castle, that's what it is. That one's kind of special. Uh, it First of all, it has 13 treasures in it, exactly, which is like the unlucky number if you're into that sort of thing. But also, it's a, a little bit weird because people have modded the game, right? I mean, I can do it right now. I can turn on some cheats and just do it myself. Uh, but if you turn on the setting, or if you hack it so that Pikmin are immune to water, or there's no water there to begin with in the summer for the submerged castle, and you try to enter it with, say, whites or something, or just all purple so you can defeat the water wraith on the first floor, then the game will actually straight up tell you that you can't take in anything other than blue Pikmin. It says that only blue Pikmin can be taken into the, the submerged castle, which is odd and kind of creepy, honestly, because it's enforcing you to do something that's uncomfortable, more so than just having water there. You can't even cheat your way to victory. Now, if you're in the the uh, prelude caves, hello, glad I just didn't start swinging. If you're in the, the prelude uh, floors, like the floors before the final one, and you somehow hack purple Pikmin in, you can actually defeat the water wraith. And if, if you do, he will not spawn uh, for the rest of the floor. He will just be gone, which makes sense because, you know, he's dead. But it's one of those things that shouldn't make sense because you can't defeat him before the final floor. It's not possible without modding the game. So it's really weird. It's, there's such a, it's such an enigma. It's almost like the designers knew that people were going to be trying different things and specifically made it so they couldn't because they're trying to promote a certain message. All right, down deeper. Another thing that's weird about the 
really feel like they're trying to push the water wraith here. Ooh. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. No. You can die. But another interesting thing about the water wraith, and we found it out ourselves in the in an episode, but it has sapiens in its name, and I've been giving that some thought. And something that's really weird about the water wraith is its size. Because if it's supposed to be a human, then it's really small compared to Olimar. I mean, Olimar is about the height of a GameCube controller, including his antenna. So it's weird that a human would be that size, which means that it practically has to be a, a baby, which is quite disturbing. Alright, you do that. Okay, well, I kind of threw them into the leafhood. Alright, hello. I guess the theme is is like white Pikmin white and purple Pikmin because you need purple Pikmin to take these guys down easily all right hello yeah you can just die now this is a withered blow hog which is actually which is a new uh, a new this guy is a withered blow hog and he's new enemy for the oh that's actually startled me wow he's a new enemy for the series but that is the Puffy Blowhog, which is from Pikmin 1. And for some reason, they decided to make it a Pikmin, or a, uh, make it appear in this cave of all places. Actually, wait, does it appear so anywhere? No, it doesn't appear anywhere else, right? I mean, besides caves, it's just a, a cave dweller, right? I think it is. It's really weird that they decided to do that. Traps? No traps, odd. All right, hello. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, purples are, are dumb, and I love abusing them, but also I hate myself for abusing them because that's not fair. It really isn't. It got one shot off, but I'm going to immediately get my Pikmin back. That's not, it's hardly fair. All right, you deal with that. And I'll send the rest of the crew this way. I see no purpose in splitting up my group because I'd rather be a giant death squad of death. Let's take this out in case we need a quick exit. I doubt we would, but you never know. Hmm. These, these floors seem like they're leading up to something. Like, there's some sort of... There's something I should be... Oh, no. You Can you attack through the wall? I think I can attack through the wall. I mean, that the, the puffy blowhog can attack through the wall. No, please don't. Yeah, please don't attack me through the wall. There, I'm pretty sure it can, so I need to be careful. All right, you, can you please not attack me? I think they might have programmed it so that if there are Pikmin on a gate, they won't be blown by the puffy blowhog, but I'm not sure. I'd rather not test the theory out. All right. So we're clear we're clear to go through. Let's take whites, do a preliminary run, taking out all of these poison spawners. Get around him. Take this out. Hey buddy. Yeah, I know. I know. You really you have allergies and you would rather sneeze on other people because you're rude. Alright, so unlike the the withered blow hogs. These guys require 20 Pikmin to bring down because they're so much bigger. But what they didn't account for is that this isn't Pikmin 1 anymore. They were really annoying Pikmin 1. Well, actually, they were much better in Pikmin 1, to be fair. They had this weird thing where they could kite really well. If you're not familiar with with M like MMORPG, or I guess uh, MMOs, not MMOR MMOs, it's like... If you're not familiar with League of Legends, games like that, uh, then you don't know what kiting is. But what they could do is move backwards and stay right, barely out of Pikmin range. And remember, Pikmin range was a little bit weirder in that game. You also didn't have purple Pikmin, which move faster in the air uh, and at the cost of them stopping for, before they land. Uh, so it was really hard to get within their range. They were, they were much better in Pikmin 1. But that also means that they were a lot a lot more sparing with them. They didn't use them that often. 
Okay, what's here? Besides lag. Actually, in between floors, I'm gonna have to clear out some files again, because this is getting a bit ridiculous. Alright, let's take this down. Get the V8, V9 battery. Is it V8 or V9? I'm not sure. But get this battery. And sadly, Olimar doesn't have a tongue big enough to lick it. And you're wondering, what, do you, what on earth, pal? You're weird. But have you never licked a battery? Like, one of these batteries, see if they still had juice in them? You can do that. It feels it feels really weird, but you can do it. You can also notice uh, I shouldn't be instructing this, considering my audience is usually younger than me. Lag, please. Man, the lag. But uh, you can actually connect the batteries together, like they have their their pieces interlock, and you can actually make a bomb with them. Uh, this is bad. You know what? One second. I need to clear off some files. Wow. I was gonna do it in between caves, but this is just terrible. There we go. But yeah, you can actually connect these two batteries together and make a bomb. Which I should not be saying in an episode. I should not be instructing people how to make bombs. But you can! And, I, I mean, I've... I haven't really done it enough for them to explode, but they will get very hot, and they will eventually explode. Or melt. But yeah, don't do that. Don't try that at home, kids. Please, please don't. You can also make napalm, really. You know what? <laughs> you know what? You know what? Actually, no. You can make napalm really easily. It, and honestly, it, it would make an interesting science experiment. Just make sure, you know, you tell your your class and and maybe do it as a team. I'm not sure if schools would be fine with making napalm, but you can make it easily. It's pretty easy. <laughs> I can't reach him here. Oh, but I got a flurry rush. So that means big damage. And more damage. Wow. A lot more damage. Certainly they're not going to spring a water water wraith on me. Please no. I mean, I doubt I will trigger the timer in this area, but still it it's too reminiscent and it's too soon for me to not get PTSD from 